Miss Pierce, thank you for joining us yeah, today. Thanks for having me. And agreeing to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you What do you like teaching? Uh, what do you like about teaching in, in Yuma Union High School District? Um, I really enjoy the kids, and I actually really enjoy working with my colleagues. I enjoy the collaboration that we have both. Um, at the floor level, the department level, and then at the district level with like my other chemistry teachers. So when you guys are collaborating, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things that teachers have said in the past that they really value is the professional learning communities and mm -hmm. those connections that they make, not only with those on their campuses, but with other campuses. Yeah. Um, is that one of the supports that, that you've enjoyed working with? Yes, Ms. Uh, Cruzy, I think is at Flesh. She's helped me quite a bit, and Dr. Martinez at Yuma High. Like I've gone to them with questions, and um, my husband actually happens to teach chemistry at AWC, so I actually get into their learn <laughs> learning community over there as well. What's so valuable about having those connections or uh, people to bounce ideas off? Because of? sometimes when it's not working for me, like, or I'm just struggling with how am I going to teach the concept? Because sometimes with it being so small, the kids have a hard time visualizing what's actually happening because you can't just see it all the time. It's nice to have somebody who's had years of experience be like, oh, well, have you thought about doing it this way? Or if I find an idea and I'm like, how about, what do you think of this? Do you think this will work? They might have an idea on how to tweak it so that it would, might work better and run better in the classroom. How has the district uh, encouraged that kind of collaboration? I think through like our meetings with the um, departments like the chemistry department you know a couple times a year or just um, even through like we have a shared Google folder that we all put information into we can still like give ideas and share ideas and I know that I've had to email and like ask and they'll still they'll respond or chat and then it's just easier. Are there any other supports that your school or, or the district have in place that assist you in being the best you can in the class? Um, I think too, just like my floor mates, I know that I'm, I've str personally struggled with classroom management when I first started just because it was all new to me and just asking different teachers and observing their classrooms. Um, like I'd go to Mr. Z's or Mr. Brown's class or Mr. Perez's class and I would see what they were doing to kind of help me build a better classroom rapport in my classroom. So I'm assuming that would probably be one of the things mm -hmm. that you would tell somebody that may be thinking about yes. working here, right? Uh, what are some other things that you uh, would say are reasons someone should come work here? I think the, for me it's the community with my colleagues that I work directly with all the time because that's what makes work fun. For me, I, we all have lunch in here, so like for, I think when you're looking for employment or something, I think it's helpful to have a positive work environment. I've, I mean, we've probably all worked in negative environments and, you know, that does affect where you are. So it's, I think our floor has really come together. Um, and we bounce ideas off each other and talk about different things that are happening both in the classroom, the district, and even in just the community in general. So I like the positive work environment. For me, that's a big draw to anywhere I work. Nice. So um, another thing that's changed over the time that you've been mm -hmm. in the district is that there's been, uh, it seems like a little bit more of dedication from the district to compensate teachers yes. in a valuable way. Um, can you talk about how that has changed for you in, in, in a maybe a positive way or, or whatnot since you started? <laughs> yeah, um, I know that they've encouraged like us to get more education and I did. I went on and got a master's in education actually from GCU and found that out through the district and other teachers who were doing the same thing on my floor actually and so that helped me lead me on to that which does help compensate you and pay and stuff a little bit which is always nice and then I like that the Prop 301 has moved more to like um, having us develop a skill or multiple skills throughout the year because it, it's nice to say like well I earned that money I you know I did X Y and Z and I showed it in my classroom and with what I was doing and it made a positive impact in both my classroom and financially. <laughs> Would uh, the compensation and benefits be something now and that you would say 
to somebody thinking about working here like this this yes. is worth it now yeah like I think I come from a medical background like I worked in the medical field for over a decade so I'm kind of really familiar with like how to read insurance information and so for me your health insurance packet was actually really beneficial and I think you have one of the better um, medical benefits that I've actually seen in both here and Oregon is there is there any other things you have? We talked about the support. Mm -hmm. uh, you, we talked about the idea that the, the medical benefits are sort of above expectation yep. and things like that. Is there anything else that, uh, if a teacher was just getting out of college or a teacher was looking to come into a teaching career, what what what, what would you tell them to as far as advice before they before they jump in? Um. Take it one day at a time. It's going to be overwhelming your first year, but it does get easier because I was really overwhelmed my first year just jumping in from a different career. And Mr. Perez would tell me, it gets easier. And he's like, and I did not believe him. And the next year I was like, you know what? It was easier. And every year it's gotten easier and I feel more confident. So just try not to stress so much over the little things. You'll get there in the end.